Lights are extremely powerful tools. They allow us to set the mood and narrative tone, create depth and visual interest, and focus our audience's attention. In this screencast, we're going to check out how you can use After Effects to create some simple yet elegant 3D spotlighting. Let's go do it. Alright, so we have a very basic composition here. We've just got a single piece of footage down here on the timeline, and that has a single graphic that is parented to it. Now, in order to use 3D lights, we actually have to make both of these layers into 3D in After Effects Mind. Of course, this is very simple, so we'll come over to the 3D icon, and underneath it, we will click on each of these layers and make them into a 3D layer. And now we'll go ahead and begin creating our lights. So we'll come up and we'll go to New Layer, and we will create a new light, and we will call this Ambient Light. We'll change the light type to ambient and there we have some initial settings that we can configure don't worry about messing anything up you can always change these settings after the fact so we'll come in here and we'll just drop this ambient light way down so maybe something like uh, 15 18 16 percent that sounds good we'll go ahead and say okay and you'll notice that our screen was actually grayed out there i'm gonna go ahead and change the viewing mode you see how we've got this very dark ambient light in the room now we've dimmed everything down effectively now what we want to do is come up and create a new spotlight so again new light and this time we'll call it spot and we'll change the light type to spot and we're gonna bring the intensity up to maybe 70% or so uh, there's things like cone angle cone feather uh, that we will dive into in a little bit here we'll just go ahead and say okay for right now and you can see what's happened here is I've actually got this nice little 3D light here on my screen and a little 3D indicator whereby I can change the X, Y, and Z positions of this light. Okay. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this is actually fairly uncomfortable to work with and that's because we're looking at the current active window, uh, essentially what will be rendered out. So to make life easier for ourselves, we're going to go ahead and come down here and change from one view to two views horizontal. And we're going to keep this one window as an active camera. So again, this will, is what will be rendered out when we're done. This is what the viewer will actually see, uh, minus, of course, this icon. And we're going to change this other window here from top mode so right now we're looking directly down on top which doesn't give us any very interesting information we're going to change this to custom view one this is not what will be rendered out but this is a much easier way to see exactly how your spotlight is set up to begin manipulating it to you can see it's already easier for me to go ahead and grab that z order arrow and change the direction so these handles become a little bit more apparent it's a little bit easier to see what we're working with here you can also go ahead and change the Z order by coming into the spots transform properties and then you can go ahead and change uh, position uh, areas of interest now one thing that's very uh, important is the point of interest now you see this little little uh, target right here little cross here's this is actually going to be the directional in which the light is aimed right and so we're going we're to aim it about like that so it's at, a, at an angle we're going to bring this X over we're going to go ahead and bring the Z back and, and feel free to adjust the settings here as you need to. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to make it a little bit larger so you can grab those handles a little bit more naturally. And then you want to keep in mind what's happening over here. So uh, eyeball it up, the position, and then make sure that what you're seeing in the final rendered view conforms with what you want. Now in addition to controlling how the spotlight looks by its position or its point of interest, we can also modify some of the properties of the spotlight itself. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to close my transforms down, and I'm going to look at my light options on the spotlight. I can adjust the intensity, just as we did when we initially set up, and I can also do something that's called adjusting the cone angle. Okay, so here I'm making the dish or the cone much smaller, and I get that much tighter focus or I can make it very wide so that I'm just really blowing out this massive fill light. So I'm gonna move that and adjust it back down a little bit. In fact, I'll make it a little bit tighter here for our next purposes. There's also something called cone feather, which controls 
basically how diffuse the edge of the light is. So if you notice I knock my feather all the way down to 0%, I get this very hard line on my spotlight. Whereas if I bump it back out, I get this really soft, diffuse edge to the spotlight. You can even change the color of the light if you wanted to. So you could come in here and make this a, a much more reddish tinge spotlight and start applying effects that way if you wanted to. Now, of course, this is After Effects and that means you can animate anything. So I can go ahead and set up any of these light options and I can animate them over time. So come down here. Let's create some new keyframes and we'll start modifying properties. Perhaps, you know, changing the intensity, maybe changing the cone angle a little bit, tightening up the cone feather. Uh, let's back the intensity back down a little bit. Um, I can also keyframe the position properties just like I could with any other object in After Effects. So I could come over here and, and make this spotlight move across the screen just by going ahead and grabbing the handle and maybe tightening the cone down over here and now you can see as we scrub back and forth I've actually moved the spotlighting effect across the screen so this is a real handy technique when you're trying to draw the user into a particular area of the screen very simple just to use the 3d lighting that's built into after effects tons of flexibility obeys the laws of physics and just will give you the opportunity to use some very stylistic lighting options hey thanks for watching i hope this tutorial has helped unlock some doors on how 3d lighting works inside of after effects if you enjoyed this i've got others up on my site or you can hit my youtube channel www.brooksanders.com or www.youtube/brooksanders. Until next time.